My name is Tasha Serta and I'm a city council member here at the city of Gardena and I am at an exhibit for the Negro Leagues Baseball and um, it's an awesome exhibit that's being put on here in the city of Gardena. We've got great pictures uh, depicting the Negro Leagues um, many, many years ago. Um, this is an awesome museum. We actually have players who played back then and um, they're here before us, they're signing autographs, they're meeting with fans and just seeing some of the pictures and hearing some of the stories uh, of their time when they played in the league has just been absolutely amazing. It's like being able to touch a piece of history um, here in our city today. So for two weeks the city of Gardena is going to have this museum up for visitors to come and view. Um, it's totally open to the public, it's free of charge, and we just hope that people come by and see what Gardena has taken some time to put together to honor our uh, Negro League uh, baseball team. Hi everybody, my name is Bob Kendrick. I'm president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm very happy to be in beautiful Gardena, California, where today we opened up one of our traveling exhibitions in partnership with the city of Gardena called Times, Teams, and Talent. And uh, it's been a wonderful day, gotten a chance to meet some wonderful people, and, and I hope everyone enjoys this kind of snippet on the history of the Negro Leagues that we put together. The exhibit's going to be here through February 13th. Coincidentally, February 13th marks the 94th anniversary of the founding of the Negro Leagues in Kansas City, Missouri. The leagues were formed on February 13th, 1920 by a man named Andrew Root Foster. So it's almost poetic that this exhibit would actually close on the day that we celebrate the anniversary of the founding of the Negro Leagues. Okay, hi, Paul Tanaka, mayor of this great city of Gardena. And today, February 1st, 2014, we kicked off our annual Black History Month celebration. We have kicked off, I've been a part of many of these, but there are none that are more special than today. They're all special, but when you bring the old Negro Leagues Baseball Museum to our little city, and not only do you bring the museum, along with the president, Bob Kendrick. You bring the one of the all-time baseball greats, Maury Wills, and you have him help us kick off this celebration. But then the icing on the cake is Mr. Shepard Porter, 90-year-old gentleman who played in the old Negro Leagues, 1949, 1950, and 1951. This is one of the, be the better attended events from the community. You saw the reaction. That's what it was all about. We're celebrating history, and we're doing it right here in the city of Gardena. So to all of you who have an opportunity, the uh, exhibit is going to be here from today, February 1st, until February 13th. Uh, please check with our recreation staff uh, to find out uh, what the availability is to come and see it, but I highly encourage you, if you have an opportunity, come out and check out a piece of history that has landed for two weeks right here in the city of Gardena. Thank you.